Well, there we go. Gnormless Gnorman the Gnu. The dominant male rule the beast on the southern plains. And uh, let's just move it forward. And he looks like he's been having a jolly good time rolling around in the wet earth. And you can see he's got mud all over him. And he is probably quite ecstatic, about as ecstatic as Gnorman can be without having ladies in his vicinity. Because he is feasting on the fresh green shoots that this rain has caused. Now, if we watch how wildebeest feed, they're very picky. Now, he'll go only for certain species, and wildebeest really, really prefer short grass. So, Gnorman is in his element. The only way he could be more in his element is if he had some ladies around. But, of course, Gnorman's mating season is over. Uh, the rutting season is over for the wildebeest. Now, wildebeest are one of our seasonal breeders out here, like Impala and Warthog. So we can be expecting baby Gnormans uh, come November. Now, of course, his arch nemesis, Normal Norman, who lives uh, down to the, the north of us, around the Cheetah Plains Pan, is around as well. So these big open plains are only inhabited by the strongest and most beautiful of the wildebeest, as it is ideal wildebeest habitat, these short grass plains. And so, which means Gnorman is a stud. And he's a good, good old mate of mine. I haven't seen him in a while. He's been being a bit scarce, but that's probably because there hasn't been too much grass about. He's had to meander his open plains quite extensively to get enough sustenance and have the odd altercation with normal Norman when he goes to have a drink at the Cheetah Plains Pan. Now, fortunately for Norman, uh, there's water on the plains, there's green grass, uh, and fortunately for him, no lions. And speaking of lions, let's go back to Jamie.